Over the years, as tracking has increased more and more, internet users have become concerned with their privacy. Third-party cookies that track you over multiple sites do endanger your privacy. Several browsers have opted out from third-party cookies, but Chrome has continued and plans to stop by 2022. Third-party trackers in Chrome will be replaced by Federated Learning of Cohorts or Flock. Google has recently started testing Flock on specific devices. In this episode of Tech News, you will come to know everything relevant about Flock as a common internet user concerned about his or her privacy. The choice of what ads to show on a page may typically be based on three broad categories of information. First party and contextual information, example put this ad on web pages about motorcycles. General information about the interest of the person who is going to see the ad, example show this ad to classical music lovers. And specific previous actions that the person has taken, example offer a discount on some shoes that you have left in the shopping cart. The document address category 2 adds targeting based on some general interests. Category 3 is based on the Turtle Dove proposal. Cookies work by setting up IDs which learn from the visitor's overall online behavior. Without third-party cookies, they lose the ability to understand what website a user frequently visits, what purchases they make, or interest they have shown on other websites. Hence, they are used for showing relevant advertisements. Google's flock is built to be different. According to them, it is the only available privacy-first alternative to third-party cookies. Google through Flock groups you with users who have similar online interest and gives them ID. Advertisers use this ID to show the relevant ads. If you are interested in laptops, Linux and tech news then Google will group you with others who have similar interest and place an ID on the group using their machine learning. Your identity then gets hidden inside the group. The main advantage of this is that everything happens locally and does not get uploaded to multiple public servers. But what about the data already tracked? To know more about internet tracking, watch this video. But where's the catch? Many claim that the process of privacy first flock is more advantageous to Google. And many companies have already refused to work with it. Recently, WordPress have proposed to turn off Google's flock and several other companies have proposed the same. Flock is meant to work on Chromium-based web browsers, hence advertisers have no more access to third-party cookies have to only rely on Flock. Chrome will further emerge as a monopoly in the game of browsers. With more and more users using ad blockers over time, many ads don't even reach the users, including YouTube ads which can be blocked by ad blockers. The relevancy of tracking and flock is definitely questionable at such a scenario. 